Whose idea it was to leave this early in the morning, they should not plan our travel anymore. It was your idea. Was it my idea? You planned mm. this whole thing. I'm not, I'm not planning anything else, guys. All right, let me introduce you guys to my mess. Panda's gonna help me take all these suitcases upstairs so that we can start packing. All right, I have established a base of operation here in the playroom. Hey, penguin. What you doing? Hello. <laughs> he keeps telling the girls hello. I am about to open all the suitcases up. I'm probably gonna take everything out of the suitcases and then start repacking per day. I actually convinced Gina to do a check bag this time. I'm so excited because I'll be able to put a ton of stuff in the check bag. So you guys folding those clothes, I will start opening these suitcases. So we just got back from Florida and my brother graduated. I'm gonna do my best this time to actually pack our stuff that we normally use for vacation. I'm gonna do my best this time to pack all of our swim stuff so that we don't have to buy any swim stuff while we're in Mexico. We do have one excursion planned for this trip and that is going to be the Tulum Ruins, uh, which I was reading a little about and it's the only Mayan ruins on the coastline. Or I guess maybe there was more and they didn't find some, but it's the only Mayan ruins on the coastline. And then there's a lot of cenotes there and we are gonna go visit one cenote and snorkel through it. We like have done a lot. We went to Florida over the weekend and we have less than 24 hours to get ready to go to Mexico. I'm determined not to forget our passports this time. Oh, that was stressful, you guys, to get halfway down to Florida last time and then remember, wait, we need passports to, to go on this cruise. I won't lie to you guys, I'm struggling right now. I had like two or three hours of sleep and this is what I have ended up with. A bunch of empty suitcases and a pile of clothes. <laughs> uh, maybe if I just lay here for a minute, I can, uh, Take a quick nap. I'll be done when I wake up. I won't lie guys, I gave up and uh, just started packing and Gina took over. Thank you baby. You're the best. Okay. What um, what colors do you need me to pick for myself? Okay, so we need pink. Okay, I need pink. So we have this outfit, but I just need a white shirt because mm -hmm. I already got your pants. And then brown. Mm -hmm. Brown. Okay. Then yellow. Now I'm realizing something. How mm -hmm. many outfits do we need? I need like four. Four. Well, some of these are dinner outfits. Oh, are you making us dress up for dinner? Two I nights. was just gonna go in my bathing suit. Just for two, you can't. Not for all uh, places. Yeah, have steak on the beach in my bathing suit. Oh, make me come all the way and look at this, guys. I gotta go 128%. <laughs> Whose ever idea it was to leave this early in the morning, they should not plan our travel anymore. It was your idea. Was it my idea? You planned mm. this whole thing. I'm not, I'm not planning anything else, guys. Ready? All right, let's go. Worst part is yet to come, guys, and that's getting the luggage from the van to the terminal. It's terrible. We're at the airport right now, and we're trying to get everybody out of the car so we can actually get into the airplane. Well, technically, first, we have to get in the line, then into the airplane. <laughs> All the kiddos are awake. We've got all the luggage packed up. We're gonna make it this time before the gate closes. Oh, nice spot, mom. Nice spot. Is this a bowl? Bicycle? Bicycle. Y'all, I honestly didn't know how well these would work, but he's really enjoying them. And he's passing the time riding around, uh, bringing me different cards of bicycles. See, guys, it even works for older kids, too. What did you find? <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> All right, this is it guys, we are checked in. So we have our van with our key card. We're gonna open the door, head on in. Here we go. 
Gina's going ahead of me looking around. Here is the bathroom. So you have the standing shower here. Toilet, nothing special. Two sinks, which is nice. And a jacuzzi tub. I actually like that it has both the standing shower and the jacuzzi tub because usually you have to pick. It's like, do you want to take a shower or do you want a bath? And that's never fun. So the bathroom is really nice. I really like the bathroom. I have a neat little stand here. You can see we already started unpacking so each of the kids get their own drawer with their dresses and shoes. And they got the more cabinet space and the mini fridge. Ooh, nice. And just so you guys know, this is um, all included here. They actually don't have, uh, you have to get your own bottled water. They have glass bottles that are refillable or reusable and that's just to help save the environment. Hey girly girls, what do you think of the room? I like it. You like it? I um, what You want to, I'll follow you to your favorite spot. I feel like I already know what it's going to be, but you should go show me your favorite spot. <laughs> Here's the bedroom. It's a king size bed. With the, the TV and a little bench there and some more of our stuff we were unpacking. So we got an office space here slash kind of like a living room. Let's step back a little bit so you guys can see it's actually a really big space. The hammock. This is their... Hey, did you know that two people can have the same favorite place? Did you, did you know that? has a really pretty view. Badger's been saying, who have you been hearing out here? Kevin from the movie Up? But we figured out it was a peacock. But it was a peacock. So there's the first room. I'll take you guys. We have this adjoining door right here. And here's the second room. So mirrors the first room, but this one has two uh, twins. And so it's really nice that we at night, get our own space, and the kids get their own space. So are you happy with the room? I like it. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Is it bigger than you expected? Smaller? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's nah, it's no, okay. No, I feel like it was pretty big. I think it's really huge. You know how I don't enormous. like to be, huh? I think it's enormous. Yeah, well, just, no one likes to be in a small room when you're on vacation. You want some space so you're not feeling like you're on top yeah. of each other. Super excited to show you guys around a little bit. Um, what a beautiful place. I'm super happy that we're able to be here. Say hi. We're headed to breakfast um, and we're going. I'll just show you guys some of what we're doing. I don't know why, but every time I'm like at a resort that it's like all you can eat, it's like I just don't have an appetite. Those are fried plantains. Chicken, tinga. Uh, that looks like maybe Mexican. Chocolate with vanilla. Okay. Over there is the way that's next week. What'd you get, Tiger? Pickles and banana and, and cantaloupe. Oh, that sounds good. Badger, what'd you get? You got some new fruit to try? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, what'd you get, sweetie? A donut. Mm -hmm. A croissant. Hey, Bubby. Pancake. It's a pineapple. Nice. Panda, what did you already eat? I got tacos, I got chocolate, and I got a waffle. Nice. And Gina got penguin some food. And so here's the food Gina got for penguin. So he is chowing down on this bagel here with cream cheese and then he's got some watermelon pineapple and banana and some it's um it's not, it tastes like grapefruit juice so the resort has been absolutely beautiful like i said we're gonna try to show you guys some of the spots we're going i'm pleasantly surprised so i'm just figuring this out i don't know why i didn't grab a high chair i'm gonna have to grab a high chair for penguin instead of having me in his car um uh, his stroller here you go. Put some kind of sauce on it. Is it good? <laughs> so we had it like a pretty long wait yesterday waiting to check in. And we probably should have done this yesterday, but we're headed over to the Star Camp to get the kids registered. Basically, like one of the main reasons we came to this resort is the kids could sign up for the Star Camp, which is basically like 
a kids club for the whole week. And they like do games and activities and crafts. And then they take them to the pool, the water slide. Oh, nice. What's on there? Jellyfish and turtles and dolphins? <laughs> Alright, bye. Love you guys. Alright, we're kidless. Well, almost. mostly. We've got one more. It's been a while since uh, we've only had one kid. <laughs> right? Well, we are going to find out where we could go. Maybe check out the beach or something like that. You found the Rubik's Cube. We dropped Panda off at Star Camp and now you have the Rubik's Cube. We found a cookie, a giant cookie, and we found a donut. So this is just one of the many like activity areas they have. It's like a ton of stuff. And so we got penguin a cookie and I'm gonna chow down on the donut. All right, I won't lie to you guys. Travel this time, it was pretty hard. I really did book the flight for like 8.30 a.m. not thinking much about having to wake up at like 5 a.m. And then that just like wiped us out yesterday. So we're supposed to come to the resort and really spend like the first day while we're waiting check in like swimming and stuff. The problem is we were all so tired like and just being somewhere new, you have to have the energy to really walk around and kind of get lost a little bit to find out where everything is. We're at the pool right now and it, let me show you guys, it is absolutely beautiful. And so, so you can see out here, there's like a lazy river that extends all the way from there through this tunnel and up to this like mock temple. On the other side of the temple is a wave pool. And then of course you have like a thing over there. And so what we're doing is just hanging out at the pool now and just relaxing like you should be doing on vacation. And what we're doing is just hanging out at the pool now and just relaxing like you should be doing on vacation. And um, we got a little bit more energy back. I've really enjoyed the resort so far. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna keep you guys along for the journey. I think Panda right now is trying to convince me to go scuba diving with him. I've never been scuba diving. He's never been scuba diving and they want potentially take us into the ocean to scuba dive. That will be its own adventure. So I guess we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys up to date and, uh, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.